This is Standing Watch. And now, Evangelist Norbert Link. Greetings, everyone. And welcome back to our Standing Watch program. The issue of abortion, the arguments pro and con, are again sweeping the nation. Perhaps for the first time, really, since the landmark decision of the United States Supreme Court in the 70s, pretty much legalizing abortion nationwide. A most recent development occurred in Alabama, and I'd like to read to you from the magazine The Sun, an English magazine, but it's representative for many other articles. It stated on May 15, Alabama lawmakers passed a near-total ban on abortions, including in cases of rape and incest. State Governor Kay Evey, a Republican, signed the controversial law after local senators voted in favor by 25 to 6. The new law makes it a felony for a doctor to perform an abortion at any stage of pregnancy, punishable by from 10 years up to 99 years in jail. The only exception would be when the woman's health is at serious risk. I'd like to add that Governor Ivey stated that the legislation stands as a powerful testament to Alabamians' deeply held belief that every life is precious and that every life is a sacred gift from God. Now, many would disagree with that. Many would say, well, wait a minute, if somebody is being raped, if there's incest involved, how can that be a precious gift from God? The article goes on to say, the historic legislation is designed to go against the United States Supreme Court's landmark 1973 Roe v. Wade decision that legalized abortion nationally. This means it will likely be challenged in the courts, but if backed by the current conservative-led U.S. Supreme Court, could see abortions banned across America. Kentucky, Mississippi, Ohio and Georgia have approved bans on abortion once a fetal heartbeat is detected, which can occur in about the sixth week of pregnancy. The Alabama bill goes further by seeking to outlaw abortion entirely. Unlike measures in other states, Alabama would punish only the abortion provider, that is a doctor and maybe the healthcare facility, not the woman receiving the abortion. The week added on May 16 that the Missouri Senate on Thursday passed a bill banning abortion at eight weeks. The bill provides exceptions in cases of medical emergencies, in other words, when the life of the woman is in danger, but not in cases of rape or incest. Doctors who perform abortions after eight weeks would face between five and 15 years in prison. Now, Axios also explained a little bit more about states which have abortion protections. They include New York and Kansas, saying that women have a fundamental right to abortions and that a woman's right to terminate a pregnancy is constitutionally protected. In other words, they allow abortions under any circumstances. You know, we have titled this program, When Does God Allow Abortions? Quite frankly, I'm not that much interested in what states decide, in what countries decide, what they have on their books. It's much more important to realize and to understand how God looks at things. Newsmax wrote on May 15 that Christian Broadcasting Network founder Pat Robertson said Wednesday that Alabama's abortion ban is an extreme law. Robertson said Alabama lawmakers went too far. My humble view is that this is not the case we want to bring to the Supreme Court because I think this one will lose. Now again, it seems that he strictly talked from a legal standpoint. I am talking today from a biblical, godly standpoint. As I said, it's immaterial really for you personally what the laws of the land may say if they contradict what God is saying. Now, does God allow abortions under any circumstances, under certain circumstances, under no circumstances? 
We have prepared several booklets. The first I'd like to offer to you free of charge today is Are You Already Born Again? Are you already born again? Now, surprisingly perhaps, this booklet will tell you that abortion can be done in a physical and a spiritual way. It draws parallels from a child being conceived in the mother's womb until the child is born to the spiritual situation when a child is spiritually begotten by God and his or her way towards birth in the womb of his or her mother, the church. It also tells you about the facts regarding abortion, what is actually happening when a child, a fetus, an embryo is being aborted. And it gives another interesting parallel between the stages of the physical child in the mother's womb and the timing of the seven annual holy days. Quite surprising to you if you have never heard that parallel before. In addition to that, we have to realize that in many cases abortions are being done because of prior sexual behavior which was not in line with God's directives. And so we have a book that prepares, actually more like a book, God's teachings on sexual relationships. You should know what the Bible has to say about sexual relationships, which ones are approved by God and which ones are not. And then I have a third booklet here. All of these booklets are free of charge. Just request a free copy. This booklet addresses the issue of predestination. Now, you might ask, well, what does it have to do with abortion? It has a lot to do with it because if God has predestined that a person is going to be called to salvation in this day and age, when does he make that decision? Does he make that decision in the adult life of that person? Does he make the decision when the person, the baby, is born? Does he make the decision when the baby is being conceived? Does he make that decision even prior to conception? And if prior to conception, would abortion not be an attempt to circumvent God's plan for the child? This booklet, Are You Predestined to be Saved? is extremely important for you to understand in connect connection with and conjunction with all the other two booklets I have mentioned. And I believe, I believe very strongly, that once you have read those booklets, you will know the answer to the question of this program. When does God allow abortions? Then you will decide. You will be the judge. Thank you very much for listening. This is Norbert Link for the Standing Watch program. Standing Watch is a presentation by The Church of the Eternal God, P.O. Box 270519, San Diego, California, 92198. More information is also available at our website, eternalgod.org.